On the bench is a Tektronix Type 547 oscilloscope. In this short video, we're going to explore the high voltage, specifically this 8,150 volt section that powers the CRT. As we follow the high voltage wire back, we end up in this section here with a danger high voltage. So let's do the right thing and go ahead and remove this plate. But before we do that, we want to make sure that the high voltage has been discharged. This is a crude setup. I have a screwdriver with a wire attached to the end. The other end of the wire is attached to the chassis. And we are going to lift this button. And we're going to touch the spring inside with the screwdriver to make sure that it's been discharged. That's an important safety consideration because the CRT can hold a charge long after the oscilloscope's been powered down. Inside, we find a plastic enclosure with a high voltage transformer here, and then five type 5642 vacuum tubes. I'll show you in a minute on the schematics. Those are diodes. As we zoom out, we see a 6AU5 power tube and a 12AT7 twin triode. This is the documentation for the CRT circuit. There's an image of the transformer. Schematically, the transformer is located here. You can see that there are multiple connections to it. It's driven by that 6AU5 power tube. Those small diodes that were in the high voltage section are located here. This is the anode. This is the cathode. Here are the heaters for the individual tubes. In terms of current flow, we have current flowing from the anode to the cathode. So it moves in this general direction, ultimately providing 8,150 volts, which goes to this point on the CRT. If you remember your CRT theory, we have a heater down here, which emits electrons, and those electrons move in this direction, and they are attracted by that large high voltage. Perhaps in another video, we can talk about these deflection plates, which move the beam both back and forth and up and down.